Tonight, dozens of Duval County parents spoke out about sex education in schools. There's nothing more important than having medically accurate, comprehensive sex education in our public schools. If you talk to someone about sex in the workplace, it is considered sexual harassment. I don't understand why it's okay to talk to children about sex in school, especially without parents being present. The controversial issue dominated public comment tonight after the school board pulled a planned discussion on sex ed from its agenda. And the late change was made after district leaders said the teaching materials they plan to use don't meet new state statutes. News for Jack's reporter Bree Eisen was at tonight's school board meeting and joins us live. Bree. 76 people talked tonight during that school board meeting. They were only allowed one minute to speak. Emotions were high. Some people believe that such sex education shouldn't even be taught in schools. Passionate statements from parents for and against the sex education curriculum in schools after health education was taken off the agenda. I've always received an opt out form for sex ed. I received it on day two this year and I ripped it up because I will never forget attending that same middle school and going to school with an eighth grader pregnant. It's very important to me to not talk sex to my children and call it health. Duval County Public School Superintendent Dr. Diana Green explaining why the discussion was delayed. It is clear that the particular curriculum ETR uh, has uh, stirred emotions whether uh, on both sides of the issue. Our requirement is to ensure we teach state standards. Some school board members also voice their concerns. My concern is that our, our decision to do it right now at three o'clock today before we voted on this item when there is nothing comprehensive set for this school year. The reality is that our students are exposed to these things and we have to make sure that the students that are in our schools are, are get as much education as they can. The district had planned to discuss the approval of a slate of curriculum materials from third parties, including Health Smart, draw the line, respect the line, and reducing the risk. But according to school officials, the district will now create its own material and put together a team of health educators to develop it. This reevaluation of the curriculum is due to a 2021 revision to state law, which requires each of Florida's 67 school boards to annually approve all supplemental materials for sex ed. Some of the notable parts of the state statute are teach abstinence from sexual activity outside of marriage as the expected standard for all school aged students while teaching the benefits of monogamous heterosexual marriage. Emphasize the abstinence from sexual activity as a certain way to avoid out of wedlock pregnancy, sexually transmitted diseases, including acquired immune deficiency syndrome and other associated health problems. Now, these new materials that are going to be made by the district will become available to the public 20 days before a school board meeting. They'll get a chance to weigh in on it before the school board approves them. Now, coming up on News for Jacks at 11, when the superintendent said those materials should be available. I'm reporting live from the school board, Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station.